All right, y'all, welcome back. Jen White Posh here, and I told you I would show you about going pink. So I did use the really, really awesome products. The Bright White Iron Color Brilliance. This is a lightener, um, kind of like a bleach, and it worked fabulous. I did apply coconut oil to my head, and there was no burning, none of that. It didn't heat up. It was really fabulous. And I used it with a 20 developer ion as well. So these two is what got me to this. And I just did the roots. And if you see in the previous videos, um, that's how I got this far. If you hear music, I don't own any rights to it. I do own the rights to my children running around if you hear that though. So... All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna split it. Um, I'm gonna take out these clips first. All right, so here we go, there's my actual head. Now I do have a little here on the side that didn't take too well, that was more me. Um, I was kind of nervous since it was my very first time. I didn't wanna like burn my head because I had heard things and None of those fears even applied. So what I'm doing is just basically getting my natural part. My hair just, it's not a perfect part, but for me, that's how it falls. All right, so go ahead and I'm gonna just real quick brush through this. Start at the bottom, go up so it doesn't hurt. My baby is sleeping. My older two are having some chill time. They'll probably pop in and out. But welcome to mom life of three boys. My house, husband is also home today. This is why I'm able to get this done. Otherwise, no go. So, all right, just brush my hair. Got that part ready. It's fluffy. So now I'm gonna just split this into sections. I'm gonna go back. Okay. See, I'm just parting it. And I will be using the Color Brilliance Ion. Uh, this is the magenta. I have used this before. This is one of my favorite colors for the pink. Um, that's what's giving me this. And this has really been washed out tons. Um, the color is great. I love it. So there's two parts and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab right here and I have super long hair so this is bogus. And mirrors, I don't do well with mirrors just so we know this up front. Okay. Alright. So. I don't even really care what it looks like as long as it's out of the way. We're going to go ahead, do the other side. I'm listening to my Amazon Fire and I'm very happy to have it back. If you have shorter hair, this is much easier, but these flop around, so I try and get them nice and tucked. And I don't want these playing around. All right. All right, so that's up. This is down. Now you could go ahead and you could part. There's my one kiddo. You could go ahead and separate more. That's really on you. Um, Pretty much everyone has their own way to separate and dye their hair. Honestly, I've never seen people really do it the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start at my roots. Um, it is the absolute lightest there, but it does wash out. It's gonna all go over my whole head, but that's where I'm gonna start and make sure I get down in there, get the sides. Um, very first thing I should do is actually go ahead and apply some petroleum jelly to my ears and neckline where I don't want the pink to go, even though I have my handy dandy gender bender bar 
this little charcoal gender bender bar from perfectly posh will help keep that off of my um face if i do get it anywhere i'm not too scared because that takes it off no problem but i still don't like pink ears all right so i'm just gonna go over the ear like i said i'm not too worried about my scalp because i got pash and pash has got me covered so just go right in there i want to be able to really get down make sure it all gets pink all right i think we need some coffee but here we go so this ion is pretty neat you basically don't have to do anything to it you can add a conditioner if you'd like the really extra conditioning but also make it go farther but i want the right bam um pink on my head so here we go this is the brights love love these and i do have four boxes for my hair i'm gonna see how many i need i'm guessing probably at least three we'll see and then you get to see me be a normal looking person after this i just got my get some vial which is our long lasting lip stain from perfectly posh and it is going to match my hair like perfectly i'm really excited about it see it's really pretty going into the bowl Ooh. you want to get as much as you can sally's does have like um toothpaste type keys for this and i think i may start investing in one because you want to really get all that color out And if the music's distracting to you, sorry, I've got to have some background noise while I do this. But I was really super in impressed with the Ion Color Lightener. It totally was not like the powder. It was so easy. All right, so we got one tube done. I'm just gonna go ahead and start like really with two in there. If I need help, um, I've got my strong husband over here hanging out, controlling traffic. I'm making sure I don't muck this up too bad. Now nah, we got this. And we're still squeezing. All right, we're getting closer. All right. We're getting to the done noise, so. Check it out, right on my thumb. All right, this one is basically done as well. So I'm gonna wash that little bit of pink off of my finger real quick. And put my gloves on. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to need more coffee, love. We drink a lot of coffee. A lot of caffeine. Three boys, keeps you on the move. Thank you. Thank you. All right, all right.
Here we go. We've got it in the bowl. We're just going to give it a good mix up in there. It's so shimmery and pretty. And I'll tell you, this doesn't smell bad either. You know, I've used some stuff in my years that has smelled. And this stuff, it's got almost like a, I don't know, kind of a almost berry smell to it. It's, it's not bad. You can still smell uh, chemical, of course, but not like intense. All right. So we've got our concoction mixed up here. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying. Oh, first of all, I'm going to re-split my hair in the back. All right. So here we go. Here we go, yo. Just going right in. Like I said, it's gonna go over my whole hair. Eventually, I'm gonna work it all through. So I'm not trying to be really particular about not missing any, or uh, about not hitting any other, because it will all be the same color eventually. like mirrors. They're not my friends. Right. I can get this one behind me to cooperate appropriately. Just as long as I don't start losing myself in the mirror again like I did. So yeah, we're just gonna go in and keep going. And I did want to hit the roots first because those are gonna suck up the most for me. Um, no. Like I said, I'm just going to go in and really start getting that the undertone. Oh, a little on my head. Maybe you have a little little brush to go in and get those little pieces along the edge when I'm ready. Ooh, it's already inside my ear. it in. It's definitely different than tube style like you know when you get the applicators uh, out of the box and stuff. Eventually I'm going to just grab it and start working it in. I just really wanted to get my roots in there to start. because that is gonna suck up the color real quick. But my ends are super, super damaged. Let me tell you why I do some of the things I do. You think, what is she doing? Um, I have super damaged ends, so that's what I'm trying. They're going to suck the color up so fast. So that's kind of what I'm trying to even them out, the top and the bottom, because the top's gonna suck them up too. But the dryness is really gonna suck up the color so I'm trying to get it even oh and then I just totally got some on my forehead 